And next up tonight we have Julie Corbett. Please. Come here. Am I close enough now? Super. With... <laughs> <laughs> I always have that effect on my performance. <laughs> This is the start of Christmas Eve. This is what she does when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> they are looking. They are looking. <laughs> Reception class, Mersey Street Primary School, 1994. You choose the ultramarine, vivid in its pot. Then with turtle focus, begin to paint. First the palm, and then the fingers of your left hand. Each time you brush or dab, the patches of nude skin, a mist of droplets, the visible aura of your effort, speckles and smudges your apron and face. When you are satisfied, you look up, waiting, waiting, waiting until the teacher sees you are finished. Your slick blue hand, outstretched, ready and willing to deliver a mark on that year's happy de ho holiday breeze. Summer Saturday, one o'clock. A man and a woman in the town centre scream and chant one to the other those familiar phrases and unclear messages, something about promises made and then broken. Fierce passions, word and actions, he knocks her to the ground and she reaches, reaches out for his now helping hand over and over again. A police car arrives, out steps, Two boys dressed in blue, arms outstretching to serve and protect. But the couple dance and swerve around the edges. Then they just stop, quiet and still, once again together, hand in hand. How cool is that, ending the public scene? Move on, nothing here to see, except the matching tattoos, red, blue and green, declaring everlasting love, entwining designs with heart, rose and daggers on his and her shoulders. Thank you. <laughs> Day trip to Cleethorpes. Many times I'd gone down the docks with my nana to collect the owed wages, and I remember going on trawlers into those warm, dank depths and trying to lift my granddad's enamel mug of proper tea, so oily with a layer of sweet condensed milk. I loved the look of St Andrew's dock, water swirling and curling, room layers of diesel on the surface, and those drips squeezed from mooring ropes of trawlers tugging and tugging to be away back to the open sea. No one told me to worry, as we said goodbye to granddad before I went on a trip to bring home chocolate and fish, which he always did, he always did, come home, that is. And one summer's day, he took us all for a special treat, a day trip across the Humber, by ferry and train, for an afternoon on Cleethorpe's beach. Early that Saturday morning, off the bus at Paragon Station, the family group organising while crossing Ferrens Way, walking past Hammonds, Fletcher's, no time to dawdle, King Edward Street, across Monument Bridge, Excitement mounting as my grandmother's grip on my hand got stronger and more determined. Princess Dock Street, a noisy tune, cobbles and heels, cobbles and sex. Humber Dock Street, cobbles and clogs, cobbles and clogs, above the gentle wash at the quaysides. And I saw, saw something amazing, something taller, taller than my dad. Sticks hanging with rows and rows of green bananas carried on the shoulders of men in shiny black caps. We sailed on the Tatchell Castle, the paddle turning and churning. I had to be watched as I stood wrapped, mesmerised by the movements of the water, the wooden wheel pulling and tugging it from the brown and blue humber. Landing at New Holland, the long walk up the ramp to the train, the only part I remember of the journey on the other side. 
Not until late afternoon did Cleebops transform into somewhere magical for me. You could build sandcastles, eat fish and chips or ice cream at any seaside. Women's he had all these and a lighthouse too. No, it was tarmac. The smell of melting tarmac with its sticky tackiness on the soles of my best red clark sandals. A smell that still transports me back, back unprepared to childhood more than anything else can do. The return journey took forever. The ferry bumped once again against Corporation Pier. The men went straight into the Minerva pub. Women and children went back to catch the bus. I didn't eat my rock or candy floss. I tried to hear the sea in shells pressed to my ear. No, I looked and looked and looked down Humber Street and every street for sticks of green bananas taller than my dad, taller than my dad. Thank you.